Hey YouTubers, it's Cardo. I'm just going to do a short video on how to change the oil on your snowblower today. I'm going to change the oil on my Aaron's Platinum 24, model 921038. But the techniques we're going to use today are pretty much the same with any, you know, most snowblowers. Some snowblowers, you may notice the drain plug is on the side of the engine. This one happens to be tilted, you know, facing the back, which is better, a little easier. You don't have to make a special funnel or take a wheel off. But first step is to start the snowblower, and that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, and what you want to do is just run it a couple of minutes. You don't want to run the machine until it's really hot, because then taking out all the oil could actually you know, cause damage to the engine. So I'm just going to run it until it's warm, uh, probably about two minutes. It's a pretty cold day here today. Um, it's about 20 degrees here. So I'm just going to start it now run it for a couple of minutes then probably pause the video and just show you the steps required Okay, now that we have the engine warm, not hot, we're going to drain the oil. Okay, first I want to show you some of the tools we have here. Again, every blower is a little different. Okay, we have a 16 millimeter socket, uh, two quarts of oil, paper towels, and a funnel. You also may want to wear vinyl, you know, latex gloves. So you don't get oil on your hands, that's always good practice. Um, but let's get going, let's start uh, draining the oil. Um, this particular unit takes 38 ounces of oil, uh, which is a lot for a snowblower. Most will take about, yeah, anywhere from 24 to 32. Of course, read your owner's manual to get the exact quantity and type of oil required for your snowblower. Uh, most snowblowers will take 530. That's a, a good winter oil, and that's probably the best best one to go with. I'm changing this uh, break-in oil uh, from crude to synthetic. I'm going to use fully synthetic. It's always good practice to change the oil every year, uh, regardless of whether or not you've used the snowblower much. If you use it heavily, you may want to even change the oil twice a year. It's a cheap um, insurance policy. As they say, it is the lifeblood of the engine, and there's nothing more important you could do to prolong the life of your machine, similar to a core. You're never going to hurt the engine by changing the oil. Okay, so let's start taking off that drain plug. I'm going to just adjust the camera here. Okay, it's been draining now for about 8 to 10 minutes. It's kind of dripping along the undershield or belly pan, I can see, because it's windy out here. But I'm just going to tilt it back a little bit just so we get every last, you know, try to get every last drop out. Okay, it's 
down to the point where it's just um, you know, kind of dripping. There you go. Again, you're never going to get every last drop, but you try to get as much out as possible, especially when you're trying to get rid of the breaking oil. It's a machine I've had uh, you know, for about a year now. But it hasn't snowed much here, so I just got about five hours of use on it, so now is the prime time to to change the uh, brake in oil. All right, next step is we're going to wipe that plug down, put on the cap, fill her up. Okay, it's time to wipe off the plug, put it back on, and then begin the fill up. Okay, there's your drain tube. You want to always clean that off. Get everything we can off. Looks like they may have put some type, uh, pipe tape at the factory. I'm not going to do that. I don't think it's necessary. But just put this on. And like any oil plug on a car or any outdoor power equipment, any piece of outdoor power equipment, you always want to start tightening it by hand. But just be careful not to cross thread anything. And there we go. That's tightened by hand pretty good. Just going to get the wrench again on this particular model. It's a 16 millimeter socket I'm using, but yours may be different. Okay, I'm going to switch my rack, ratchet to the tightening position. Put it on there. And just tighten the cap. Snug. Those are going pretty deep. Okay, that's snuck. I don't want to crank it super tight because I want to be able to get it off a little easier than this time. That's tight enough. Okay, now we're going to begin um, refilling it. And again, on this particular model, it's 38 ounces of oil. Uh, there's a good chance yours will be less. Some of the larger Aaron's engines, they still only take about 38 ounces of oil but most of them take less than 38 ounces. But now I'm going to refill it, get my funnel ready. Okay, the funnel is on there. I'm just going to put in the 38 ounces of oil that's required in this engine. Again, I'm using a 5W30 fully synthetic oil. take it slow. I can see it's coming back at me a little bit. Again, always make sure you put the drain plug on tightly before you start refilling, of course. Just going over it step by step. I just want to do this as thoroughly as possible. Getting the first 32 ounces, the full cord's just about done. But again, I'm going slowly because it has a tendency to come back up if you go too quickly. It's a thin drain tube on these uh, outdoor machines. It's not like a car where you can kind of just dump it right in and it's not going to come back at you. So I'm taking it slow. Okay, that's one quart down. Ok, 
Okay, that's one quart, 32 ounces of fully synthetic oil in there. We're going to put another six ounces and we're going to be done with that. All right. So we're going to fill this, we're going to unfill this until we get to about uh, 26 ounces. Here's 20, there's 28, so this is obviously 24. So we're going to go right to about here, and that'll be the six ounces. This way it's full with 38. And again, when you do yours, make sure you read your owner's manual for the engine and put in exactly what's required. You can always, a lot of people now will probably get the dipstick in there, check to see where you're at. But, yeah, I went by the owner's manual. I know that there's 38 ounce capacity in this machine, so that's what I'm putting back in. Then I'll check when I'm finished. Done very slowly. Okay, let me see where I'm at. And that's it. It's just about uh, 26. So she's full. So I'm going to close it up. I'll check with the dipstick. Almost finished. So the crankcase is now full with oil. Okay, let's get back to checking. The crankcase has been filled. Now I'm going to check the oil level. I have the dipstick handy, and you know, this is an important step. You want to make sure there's enough oil, of course, before you start the machine or store it. So I'm just going to put the dipstick right back in there carefully, straight through. Tighten it up. In this model, you tighten it up. Every engine's different. You may have one that's like a side dipstick, and then you'll just like push it in. Follow your owner's manual again. This one, you put it tighten the, the dipstick and then check but your engine may be a little different but let's see where we're at no that's tight now I'm going to loosen it let's see where we're at and you can't really see it's such a clean oil at this point but it's right between the the two the two holes at the bottom, right here. It's right between these two holes, so that's full. This would be full anywhere in between here is acceptable. I just want to check it one more time just to make sure. Straight in, very carefully. There you go, all the way down. Take it straight out. Yep, we're good. So put it right back in. Straight in, tighten the cap. Okay, that's what we did. Just to go over it quickly, a recap. Warm the engine, just a few minutes. You don't want a hot engine, you could damage the engine once you drain the oil. Warm engine. This goes for snow blowers, lawn mowers, any outdoor power equipment that you may change, even your car. Um, okay, take off the plug, be careful. Take it off. Take off the dipstick. This way, you don't create, uh, you know, you vent it out. It drains much faster than if you leave the dipstick tightened. It would have taken twice as long for that oil to drain. Um, fill it up to the engines, the engine manufacturer's recommended level. Um, tighten it up. Check it. Check twice, and you're good to go. Very simple. It's something everyone could do. Not something you really have to take to a dealer. For service, you know, if you feel more comfortable doing it that way, by all means do it. But this is a very simple do-it-yourself project that most people would be able to do on their own. And that's why I took it very slowly. I just want to show you every single step involved. Uh, forgive my winter attire. It is 20 degrees out here, so I just threw on some uh, schleppy clothes and, and got this video for you guys. Hope it helps. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And as always, thank you for watching. That's a wrap.